your voice uh, re for the first time ever reminded me of James Hetfield in the uh, Garage Days We Revisited period. Oh, she said Danzig. Because <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of the songs were taken from Misfits and we were really calling from the Misfits and Glenn Danzig. There's a Hetfield thing, but God, I hope not. I didn't say, yeah. No, but I was referring to the Garage Days We Revisited album. Oh, okay, course, Garage yeah, Days. covers in that there. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Well, you got away with it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just becoming a little more confident with my voice and being able to have more melody where I would scream the parts um, has come with, you know, confidence. And there's been baby steps. Like for Below the Belt, we had a song called Had Enough, very melodic. And it was one of the first times I really just went for it melody-wise. So... You know, for this album, we took a cue from that song and we added, you know, more songs like that on the album. Were you anxious to put this album out? Um, I think we're more excited than anxious. I think anxious is kind of, you're kind of waiting for people to doubt what you did in a, bit, in a way. But this one here, like Danko said, at the risk of sounding like too self-assured, we knew that it was a good record and we actually can't wait for people to hear it. And we're lucky that we, happy that we got to put out the teaser track, Gonna Be a Fight Tonight. So that kind of, is a, that is an indication of where the record's headed and the kind of tones and sounds to expect from. It's, it's fun. I think it was really fun and a very inexpensive way to do a video because most of it was just shot on handheld cameras. And, and really much fun too. I mean, to watch it, to watch it as a fan or oh, just, thank you, I mean, thank it's, you. it's great stuff. I mean, yeah. Do you guys have more or more videos coming up like that? Or yeah, we're we're uh, waiting right now, but hopefully uh, we'll have a video for another song fairly soon. Which one? Is it too early to ask? Um, I think we can yeah, let it out. It's do gonna... you want to rock? Which is the track sweet. six? Okay. <laughs> sweet, I love thank that song too. Ah, thank you. Thank you. It's like Spinal Tap in many ways. I mean, Very probably well. so. So is your band as well. I mean, you guys are for the seventh drummer now, right? Sure, you know, a lot of people <laughs> say that, they of course because of the drummer, but Rich has been in the band for a year and a half, so a lot of people think he's new, and a year and a half compared to the 18 years we've been around is new. But I don't really question what he, his drum choices, they're great, they're perfect for the song, so he's done his homework and very respect, it's great. It's the harmony of this band that, against my better judgment, made for a very angry record, which you, I always thought was supposed to be the opposite. Out of the tension in the, the personalities and the characters comes this angry, frustrated, high energy music. Uh, well, it's angry and it's high energy and it's heavy and hard. Um, but and I think, yeah, because we have this, there's been this really good harmony, especially for this record, more so than any anyone else, yeah. that these songs, the energy in those songs was able to come out because it's really an emotion that's coming through and uh, you know, if we were all upset at each other or if there was some friction, then we'd, I think we'd lose, uh, you would lose the attention that's needed to work on the song to make it so good and catchy and how they came out. 